Hello, I'm Stefan Lukic from Civils AI, and today I'm going to be talking to you about trusses. Trusses are one of the most common structural elements used on construction projects. Um, they're used sometimes interchangeably for roofing designs, bridge designs, and one of the most common uh, features of trusses that you'll see is that they're arranged in these triangular patterns. Quite often, people get confused between the difference, uh, the difference between trusses and frames. And what you see here at the top is a truss, at the bottom is a frame. There are some pretty big differences between the two. Uh, like I was saying before, lots of trusses you'll see arranged in these triangular patterns. The reason for this is because trusses do not transfer bending moments or shear forces at their joints. Uh, frames, on the other hand, can transfer moments and shear forces at their joints. What this means is that trusses can be quite efficient, lightweight, and often cheaper than frames because they're more, uh, they transfer the loads more efficiently down into the supports. Frames, on the other hand, are much more flexible. You don't need to build in these triangular patterns that you commonly see with trusses. How do we design trusses? So similar to things like beam design, we follow through a similar approach uh, to resolve these with hand calculation methods. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to analyze the forces. So we break the different sections of the truss down into individual members and joints. We then look at the external loads and the reactions which are acting on each of these locations. We then apply equilibrium conditions. So we can use a, uh, several different approaches to do this but basically we apply the principles of static equilibrium. So we sum all of the moments acting around each joint to zero. This is one of the key principles of trusses, and then we determine each one of those individually. We then solve for the member forces. So this is very similar to beam design, so you could look through our beam design video to recap on how to do this, but you essentially split each member uh, using the method of slices and look at each individually and consider the forces acting on those. And then finally, you have to consider the strength of all the individual elements and the connections, make sure that's okay um, in order to complete your design. You'll often see different types of trusses uh, in, in the world. Uh, there's some common patterns that you'll see. These how trusses are very common. You'll see them on a lot of rail bridges and even on roofing designs, but there's other common designs that get used as well. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can use the truss, uh, the free truss analyzer on Civils AI to design a truss. So when I first arrive on Civils AI, um, I can input the nodes here. So these are the nodes for the different truss, uh, the truss nodes. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a few of these nodes and then we're gonna connect them together with uh, elements. So you see here, we've got four different nodes uh, created. I can even set the restraint conditions for these. So let's set the one as being pinned, uh, four as being pinned as well. And then I can start connecting these together with elements. So I'm gonna connect one element between one and two, another element between two and three, another element between three and four. And then the key thing with the trusses is that you need to build in triangular, uh, L, uh, triangular modules, let's say. So here I'm also gonna connect between two and four to build out this triangle because otherwise this is gonna have no, if you imagine each node doesn't have any um, bending moment resistance or shear resistance, if I don't put this triangular element in, the whole thing is just gonna spin. Um, so then I'm gonna add a point load, let's just add one of two, let's say uh, node two, 10 in the X direction. So you see 10 heading rightwards. And I can hit analyze and we're gonna see Okay, so no bending moments as we expect with trusses that are being transferred here, and these are pin joints, so this is very efficient. No shear forces either, that's what we'd expect. And then what happens with the trusses is that everything uh, happens with axial forces. So you see here we've got this 14.1 kilonewton axial force in this element and a 10, uh, a 10 kilonewton uh, axial force in this one. So that makes sense, this one's in tension, this one's in perhaps compression. No, yeah, compression. And then you can see here the reactions. So this, these will be the reactions. So uh, 10 kilonewtons in tension here, 10 kilonewtons in compression on this one. 
And so we've resolved this frame. We can all, uh, this trusts. And then we can also look at the displacement in here. We can rerun this analysis with some different uh, uh, properties for each one of these elements. Uh, so that's it. Very simple to run trust analysis on Civil's AI. Thank you for listening.